Hello, das ist Miss Jäger, and welcome to World of Tanks. Now, um, I am currently playing the replays. This is the first time I've ever done this, so bear with me. Um, in this match, and in this video, I will be presenting some crazy luck moments. So, in the time whilst we're, you know, playing through this, I have some very lucky ca close ca and close calls in this I've match. Had of these French now, tanks. I am Let's driving the Chinese... M5A1 Stuart. Tiny tank, kind of quite fast, thin armor, box shaped. So it's not a slugger, it's more of a scout, but I prefer to use it as a slugger scout. It, it's complicated, it's one of those things which is, you hit, hit, it's hit and run really, it, it's not scouting, but at the same time it's, like I said, it's complicated. Anyway, more into important things. So, after a nice friendly banter between the two classes and two sh and um, two teams um, we decide to push on the right hand obviously death wave call, death wave calls um, already we're starting to have engagements on the right hand side myself and Mr. Stug are currently pushing up the left flank so far no sightings of enemy that is surprising normally there'd be some at least one bad guy either a scout or some kind of heavy armoured contact which is what I'm used to so now, we're just watching as the battle unfolds to the right. Um, our team so far has two kills. So they've knocked out their tier 5 war breeds. And now, I'm like, right, okay. If there's no bad guys, I might as well start pushing and nudging the lines forward to see whether or not, um, as you can see by my crosshairs, I'm panning around. I'm making sure that things are all right. And I think, actually, we're doing pretty well. It's all great. Nothing's going to stop us. Right? Yeah, but, uh -uh. Two heavy tanks. Not only do we have... Okay, maybe not a Crusader, but one medium and a Crusader. Now, the Crusader decides to give chase, and now I'm, like, going, ah, oh, crap. So, um, we're panicking at this point. I spot him, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay, let's start taking it out. I try and shoot, miss completely, and he misses too, thank God. Um, but now we're in a bit of a hopscotch. I'm trying to shoot him. I lose tracks. I fix. I take a shot, do a little bit of damage. I dodge, and bang! There's the first bit of luck in this game. Grill, I'm like, oh, thank God for that. And so I happily condone us eight cheers, mate. That was a close one. I was quite worried. So now, Mr. Stug on the enemy's team decided to try and take out our base, being a bit of a sadder that he is. Because if you notice already, we're already starting to win. We've got eight kills to their five, and it's already looking like the match could end up pretty much in our favour. So I decide to go for their artillery. And we find an AFK Jihan. I get stuck on the rails then. I'm like, ah, oh, shit! So I'm panicking at this point. Now, this is the part where... Ooh, yeah, of course. Right, what I'll do here is I'm just going to pause, because I just want to let you know. First off, I get shot by the Marda 2. Very clever little bugger. Probably saw me whilst I was stuck. Now, this is what I would call the luck... This is where my luck really starts to play through. As we're approaching, I'm getting closer and closer to the grill. And as we're getting closer and closer, I might... Let them taste fear. Hammer them. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play, but really slowly. So as I approach the um, grill, he takes a shot, and boom! Now, that is what I call a close encounter. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, obviously the tracer is already past me, but by that point, I was like, oh shit! I was absolutely terrified, and I was like, thank god I missed. So, very close call for me there. So, as we go back to it, bang, I miss. And I'm just like, right, okay. And I miss then as well. That's really terrible. So I um, I block him a bit, and then Artillery steals my kill. So um, I was like, hey. And uh, Mr. Grill on the enemy team starts getting a bit annoyed because his team obviously failed him, and he was clearly not doing anything stupid. Um, then I get shot at by Mr. Marder. So he shoots me, gets penetration, but no damage, thank God. So then I spot my mist my friend, Mr. Stug. So instead of going out trying to get a kill, I just wait. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 mind me. Bang, bang. So artillery not only annihilates um, the artillery. Not only do I get, not only does Mr. Stug come in and help me out, I, um, Mr. Art Grill also knocks him out too. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So at this point, the game's pretty much over. We've dominated the enemy team. 
the cruiser, now this is quite cool, cruiser t guy, or Mr. Cruiser, decides to make a break for it. Now, I don't know why he decided to stay there and now make a break for it, because he's got a grill, a steward, and everything on him. So, I'm trying to take pot shots, and I'm being very terrible with my accuracy. And I ram him. <laughs> Rarity for me to do that. And so I make a shot, and he gets close to killing me. I back up, and bang! Ooh, look at my health bar. It is very low. Very low indeed. It would only take a fly having a shit to kill me. So, um, it's quite close. Very close indeed. So now, we're just waiting for the game to capture. Enemy Stuart on the on our side is trying to move around. I imagine he's just trying to stay alive. It won't last long. Um, good game to our opponents, though. And then I spot Mr. Hetzer. Now, Hetzer's coming along this way, and I'm like, Ooh, I've only got two bits of health left, but I could get a flank shot on him. Because um, this guy has the derp gun, the 105, I believe. And then here's a bit of a fail on my part. I'm like, yeah, I could totally not do that. So um, I'm paying for that little mistake. Stugman, um, trying to go around the corner. I'm like, no! So now um, here I am waiting for the, gr the Hetzer to come along. So I take a pot shot. Bang! One shot. Good. One more shot should do it. Nope. Just about fail. And then, bomb! So I was able, so I was able to repay the kindness done to me by Mr. Stug by knocking out the Hetzer. So I don't think it was a derp gun. I think it was just the first um, 75 mil you get. But yeah, that's generally how things went for that game. So very, very lucky. Not only because I was saved by the artillery against the Crusader, and all. I mean, it was bore of the fact that the grill took a shot and completely missed. Well, missed by about a few inches. And not only that, also the fact that the the Cruiser 4 didn't just try taking pot shots at me um, whilst I was engaging the grill. So both really, really close battles. Even the Chiha was lucky to have an AFK there. So um, very fortunate game that was. I was very close to dying, but, you know, very good games to our opponents. You know, unfortunately, a lot of them stuck to the this right this left hand side I well this right hand side if you're coming from uh, Arsborn but I, I never get why people come down here because it's just a slugfest waiting to happen and unless you've got the best weapon and the best armor and even then you can still lose pretty easy I wouldn't rely on coming down here that's why I love coming to the left because you can duck and weave and dodge and as you can tell and as you saw in this one when you do it right you do it right so I'll see you in the next battle which is even closer See you then. And we're back. So, here we go. Into this next battle. I'm f playing with the Tier 5 ELC AMX. Um, I've just sent I just sent the usual good luck, guys. Here you go. Um, so, in this match, um, I'm about halfway through the tiers. We're facing up quite a few big tanks. You know, we've got an ARL-44, KB-1S, Type 58, all that sort of thing. So, I decide to go up along with our Mr. T-58 and... Um, in all honesty, I hadn't really formed a plan as to how I'd be of use, but um, I was hoping that by I was hoping to do something like a good shot on someone or whatever. So I was coming up alongside, and I thought, you know, what, I'll go into the monastery because then if I can spot some targets, we could get a couple of good lucky shots for my artillery, well for our artillery. So um, I go in there, and then soon after that, we spot ARL 44. So, um, Type 58, or Mr. Type 58, decides to take a few pot shots. And I think, ooh, can I get a side shot? Can I get anything against his armor? No! I can't even get a side shot. So I decide to move into position just to make sure that he hasn't got any company. And here I am, minding my own business. Being an utter twat, because I'm exposing most of my armor to the open. And then I realize Mr. ARL44 has backup. So then I realize, maybe I shouldn't be here where artillery could pop up pop me open in the middle of the day. So I decide to fall back in further into the town. Then I realize Type 58 is taking cover. So I go in, take aim for the shot, close up call, bang! And this is where the cool stuff happens. <laughs> Cue the Indiana Jones music. IRL 44 and an ELC and AMX charging after me. I'm like, ah! Panicking as we're trying to get out. So I go down this mountainous area, or mountainous hilly area, and I get caught on the fences. I'm like, no, 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 no! So I panic, trying to get across. ARL44 just, I just escaped from him. I get shot from somewhere. I have no idea where he's shooting from. Then I spot a Panzer three to four. So I'm like, right, okay, can I do it? I've got to do something. I'm getting away. I'm being shot at by someone. Turns out it was something, um, and I take a shot, bang! 
completely misses. So I then decide to peg it, and I have no idea who's actually shooting at me. So I'm trying desperate moving tactics, like ah, <laughs> panicking as I'm trying to get out. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> as I'm terrified of getting blown up. So now that I've escaped from the clutches of death, I decide to grow some balls and go back into the fray. Um, by that point, most of the team players on this side have already knocked out most of the armoured vehicles, so me <laughs> being a bit like, ah, okay, let's earn some glory and redemption for that counter -sect. So, having provided some kind of support, um, we make a, uh, I go around to just make sure that we're not being flanked, so I'll try and keep it on the uh, free camera so you don't guys get motion sickness, because this is what I do, I just, I scan around a lot, I look to my mini-map, I think, right, okay, okay, who's over there, Leopard, you know, trying to make sure who I've got, you know, there's my Type T34, there's Type 58, so those two guys are busy, I'm looking over there, I'm, I'm scanning my environment, because anything that can kind of tell me what how how the game is changing. Look to your teammates. Don't assume that because they've got a better tank than you that they're going to instantly be a better player than you. You know, just focus on first of all, like your objectives. So now this one, I had I had my objectives. I'm like, right, okay, I'm going to knock out the enemy grill. And this is where things get interesting. So as I'm coming towards the grill, I think, yeah, I've got an easy kill. Just drive up alongside him. That makes sense. Oh no, there's an M5A1. So I'm panicking now. I'm thinking, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta go. This guy could easily kill me. Because bearing in mind, tier four gun, tier five gun. So I take a pot shot, completely miss, and I'm like, oh god, I'm dead. So I decide to ram him of all things, and the M5A1 Stuart. I might just slow things down a bit. So I, I'm reloading. You can see my ticker is still reloading. And I'm like, come on! Come on! And I'm ramming him and everything, desperately trying to get a shot in. So then I finally, blam! I shoot him, and then Mr. M5A1 decides to pop out of the bloom. Blam! Starts ramming me from the side on. So I'm like panicking. He shoots, completely misses, and hits the ground behind me. Lucky I'm such a tiny tank. So I fix my treads, and he gets shot by my ally, T58. So now I've still got time to reload, so he could easily kill me. One more shot could easily kill me. Bang! Just missed that as well. I aim for the shot. I'm lucky, and bang! Holy crap, that was close, I thought. So now we're like, right, okay, that was close, very close. Like any shot can kill me. So I'm panicking at this point. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I realize, and I'm like capping now with my Mr. T50 here. And then all of a sudden I realize, oh shit, there's a KV-1. And backup is still a fair bit away. Think about it, they're still over there. So I'm thinking, right, okay, can I go behind Mr. KV-1 and do something to knock his health down a bit? You know, we've got to try and see if I can do something. So I come round the corner, and then, of course, no, he's aiming this way. So um, I wouldn't, I didn't want to take the chance of trying to go out and flanking him. So I thought, okay, let's take cover, let's take cover. You know, Mr. Type 58 taking cover as well, angling his armor. Good idea, good idea. I'm going to... I'm kind of thinking, should I go around the back? Should I go around the back? Should I? Be? And then, of course, he came on. So I'm like, oh shit! Traverse this thing is such a pain in the ass. I aim for the shot. No, can't make it. Try and aim for the end of the shot. Oh no! Type 58 is gone, but we were able to destroy the TV one. So that was a close call. Um, then, um, then I realised that our opposing team has destroyed us on both flanks. They are coming towards us now. I realise there's only one vehicle there defending, Mr. Hellcat and Tier 6. So I send a message to him saying, Come on, Mr. Hellcat, hold them for as long as you can. You may die, but we really need to start capping this area. Otherwise, we'll either, we'll either lose if they cap it too fast, or we end up in a draw. And after all that effort and all that luck, I didn't want to end it on a draw. So now we're going closing. And then... For a second, then it's like, oh god, KV1S right behind us, but I didn't see it. Bang! He shoots at the Stug, not me. So I'm very lucky that he didn't shoot at me. I'm sorry for Mr. Stug. He he didn't deserve it, but I was very fortunate that I didn't. And then I realised our KV1S is still alive. So I send a message to that guy saying, give the bastards hell. Do anything to stop him from, you know, getting through. And unfortunately, just as um, luckily though, just as we win the match. Um, he K T1 Heavy just knocks out the K the Hellcat, but we were able to just cap the game. We were able to quickly go into the cap zone, take it, secure it, and also KV1S got a kill. The Churchill only getting the kill on um, the artillery. Very good game to both sides, actually. I was really, really enjoyed playing that game. Very tight, though. Very tight. I like what um, Mr. M5A1 did. I think what he did was a very good manoeuvre, because... Um, 
he not only provided cover for his artillery, he also spotted for them in a sense. Because what happens is most of the time, and this has ha happened to me, it's happened to me before because I tried being artillery once. It wasn't a pleasant experience. The pe the scouts tend to go further on into field. Yes, they are spotting for you in a sense, but when the match kind of gets to that really not so good state the artillery becomes blind and has no cover so I like what he did there very good idea indeed um, so yeah this is um, this is a very good game I'm very much enthralled by um, what people have done so far in this um, you know very good game I just goes to show how lucky you can be sometimes even even the AMX has its day you know, I may mock the French a lot, I may say that their tanks are shit, which they are, but, you know, as I said when I made the 90mm of gun video, even in that pile of turd, there is a gem, a golden nugget, and the AL ELC, I cannot recommend enough. It is a very good tank, providing you upgrade the gun. <laughs> it's a pile of shit if you don't. If you've got the little 75 stubby, you might as well just grab the pistol from your crew and just shoot yourself, because... There is nothing you can do. Spotting, yes, if you get right up close to a tier 3 maybe, you'll be okay. But get that tier get that tier 6 gun, because otherwise your ELC will not make too much of an effect on the field. It will do damage, but it will not do enough damage. So, yes, I thoroughly recommend this tank if you want to be a hit-and-run TD-style gameplay. You know, this thing works very well for TD. It's very good for sighting, but it's also good for TD. Yes, you don't get the ability... You get the luxury... Well, yes, you have 400 health, but for, as TD players, you should be used to the concept of not being able to make hit-and-run decisions anyway. So, with that all said, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, I am running other series too. I've got um, a Far Cry thing going on, so if you guys enjoy Far Cry, feel free to check that out. Um, I've got a Shogun thing planned for some time in the future. I'm not exactly sure when I'll start filming, but I know I will try and do so sometime soon. Um, I've got a bunch of other bits coming up, but generally speaking, it's, you know, I've got new stuff, but, you know, obviously I'm going to try and continue this as much as possible. So, if you enjoyed that, please feel free to submit a comment. Please rate, you know, please rate anything, any feedback is always appreciated. I thoroughly enjoy getting some feedback because so far no one's responded. So, I have no idea whether what I'm providing is good or not. So, yeah, um, that's with that said, thank you very much for watching. This is Crap Hunter, signing out. Catch you later, guys.